Hello and welcome to the support videos for workload automation. This video will show you how to create a periodic calendar in ControlM Enterprise Manager. To create our periodic calendar, we will be using the ControlM Workload Automation GUI. To get to the calendar definition, we will click on Tools and then click on Calendars. This should create the calendar tab for us. To define our new periodic calendar, click the drop down arrow under New and select Periodic. This will present us with the calendar definition screen. First things first, let's name our calendar. In this video, we will be creating a quarterly periodic calendar, so we will name it quarterly, and we are going to give it a description of quarterly periodic calendar all days. Now let's proceed with defining our period. To define our period, you need to make sure you have the period selected and then select all the days you want for that period. So we have period A and we're going to select all the days in January, February, and March as the days for that period. Now we select period B and select the days for April. May and June for our period B. Now we select period C and we select all the days in July, August, and September for period C. Now we select period D and we select all the days for October, November, and December for our period D. Now that we have our periods defined, we want to copy this year to all the other years we want our calendar to have. So let's click on Copy Year and click the drop down on the Copy To. We always want to copy to the previous year. We don't need to select 2017 because it's already there. So we copy from 2000 to 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22, and click on OK. Make sure we have the years we want. Click on OK again. And now we can check the years to make sure the periods have been carried over. You want to check the leap year because the since we're Copying from a non-leap year, we need to select the leap day, February 29, on the leap years for this calendar. Now we click on Apply and click on OK. After we've defined our quarterly calendar, you want to make sure you check it in so that it is saved in ControlM Enterprise Manager. That concludes this ControlM Solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.